connection stud at the end of the pump. In this case, a standard CAV filter with felt element is being used. The shaft carries a line which denotes top dead center of the cam near. Thus, when the shaft line is coincident with this line on the end plate, it is known that number one cam is in the wrist to the end of the shaft. A similar line is marked on the coupling, which should coincide with that on the shaft position by means of a woodruff key, lock washer, and nut. The coupling is held by a special tool whilst tightening the nut on the camshaft. together with a handle. The camshaft is turned by means of the handle so that number one cam is in top dead center as indicated by the line and placed between the tappet screws. The lever should be operated gently to prevent damaging the top of the plunger and the joint face of the pump housing. The existence of this movement which can be adjusted by means of the tappet screw is extremely important in order to avoid the end of the plunger protruding through the barrel and hitting against the bottom of the delivery valve seat. If we put the delivery valve body in position on this model, you will see what would happen. An easy way to set the head clearance for the first time is to bring number one cam to top dead center and screw up the tappet screw until the top of the plunger just contacts the delivery valve. Now as the pitch of the tappet screw thread is one millimeter, the necessary 0.5 millimeter clearance can be obtained by turning the tappet screw half a turn down and locking it. Before proceeding further, a pointer is attached to the extension piece screwed into the closing plug and is set to indicate the degree marking on the wheel. At this stage, the locking plate and number one valve holder are removed. Then the spring is taken out, placed in clean oil, the valve extracted, and also placed in the oil bar. Holder is now replaced on the pump and screwed into position, taking care not to use excessive tightening force. On the delivery valve holder, a swan neck pipe is fitted for better observation of the spill. the swan neck pipe. And as the camshaft is turned slightly to bring number one cam to top dead center and the plunger rises and the ports are closed, the flow gradually diminishes until it stops altogether. This is known as the point of port closure or spill cutoff. The swan neck pipe and the delivery valve holder are now removed. The valve and spring are washed in clean fuel oil and the whole assembly refitted. The delivery valve holder is screwed in and tightened by means of a special spanner designed for this purpose order of this particular pump is one, four, two, six, three, five, when driven in a clockwise direction, number four element is now dealt with in the same way. First of all, removing the valve and spring, then replacing the valve holder together with the swan neck pipe. The point of port closure for number four element 
is found by the same method as for number one. And if the tappet is correctly adjusted, it should be 60 degrees after number one element, 90 degrees on a four-cylinder pump. It will be seen here that the phase angle is incorrect. The fuel is turned off and adjustment is made to the tappet screw in order to raise or lower the plunger in relation to the camshaft. If the phase angle is over 60 degrees, then the tappet screw is raised. If it is under 60 degrees, then it is lowered. The tappet screw is held by a lock nut, which must be loosened first. After the screw has been adjusted, the lock nut is retightened. It may be noted that one complete revolution of the adjusting screw is equal to approximately six degrees on the camshaft. Having made adjustments, the operator turns on the fuel and checks again the point of port closure. He now finds that the previous discrepancy has been corrected, as the pointer now indicates 60 degrees reading exactly. The fuel is turned off and the plunger placed in the top dead center position, because as adjustment has been made to the tappet, it is necessary to check again for clearance. During phasing, it is possible that the pointer or even the disc may have been moved slightly out of position. And it is necessary, therefore, to go back once again to number one element and ensure that the initial setting point has not been interfered with. The point of port closure on number one element is rechecked. 